This is Labyrinth TV, and we are here in Sredu Grand Chile County. And this is Sredu City with me, Lloyd Farley. And today, I want to bring you some buildings, some areas that is trying to make Sredu very beautiful, especially after our post world and this place is called the cash entertainment center and it is owned and operated by mr ben pine as is usually called but on the average now he's called catch and uh, he hail from green Jeter. and this is one of his businesses that he runs and this place i can tell you during time of the festive season especially christmas new year or major holidays people come to amuse themselves here and you find all type of drinks here uh, and, uh, food as well and so those who have come like ngos and who have come to work in green today at this time they just come and take a few uh, maybe for that lunch or uh, maybe have some drinks and Oh, the next step here is the official residence of the father of the Catholic Church and this is in the entire land of the Catholic uh, Roman Catholic Church is known for being uh, one of the oldest churches in the world i will show you their church building but i just want you to show you some of the areas that they live and as you can see this is the back part of the cash entertainment center and this entertainment center those who have been to grand Jeter, i know they know where uh, what have been the uh, location and uh, services offer to those of you who are passing by especially those who are from the nearby counties in this place you have uh, a guest house where people if you are traveling to grand crew maryland county you just go and relax yourself then you will have a, uh, one night of sleep then later on you go to where you are heading to away from that uh this entertainment center have a very large area where people go and relax dance you know amuse themselves and so we uh, this is also one of the buildings belonging to citizens and resident you know this building was built uh, in the 80s but after the return and after the civil crisis when Liberia returns the you know the owner of this building uh, came back renovated and as you can see people are now uh, sleeping within it. The next building you see there is a personal property of another Grandidians. But after the po post war, uh, when Liberia returned, this place was used as a temporary area for detention. That is, it was used by the Liberian National Police. But after the police stations uh, got completed, the people moved to uh, the main building. Of the police station that recently got burned by angry but this is the church building of the cafe and they usually come here every sunday to worship and this place uh, as you may know is the uh, one of the bigger churches in this region and as you can see there it is the elementary of this church the Catholic church is known to be one of the oldest churches in the world and so every sunday to come for worship here uh, sorry today is not sunday uh, to see the movement of people whenever they come here to worship the lord away from that uh, this place is used for the elementary school i wish i could go in but let me get to the rear fence uh, where they used to go in though 
so that you can see the uh, the inner part of uh, the building. So be it good that the gate is open, and I will soon go in. And this street is known as the Moses P. Harris Street, and Moses P. Harris is one of the superintendents of Grand Julia County uh, in the uh, late and early 70s. Moses P. Harris was serving as uh, one of the superintendents of Grand Julia County. Now to the inner part of the Catholic fence. You have back there, I know you may not see it there, but it's a great distance around there is where they have the junior and the senior high. But this is the Catholic uh, elementary school. As you can see, it is called the St. Philip Elementary, St. Philip Mina Elementary School. Right there, as you can see, the St. Philip Mina Elementary School. And uh, around there are some other uh, school that the, the kids come. And so we run from first grade to it will run from kindergarten sorry it run from kindergarten to sixth grade and so if you graduate uh, from here and get your promotion to the summer grade you now move to the bishop Julie high school uh, which is also the high school for the catholic now let me move uh, to uh, the billboard that what is written there so you can see it uh, that include the Sunday Mass, the weekly Mass, and the Confession, and you know, and so forth. But if I get there, you see exactly what I am talking about. This is the Christ the King Catholic Church. As you can see, the sign there that portray the Roman Catholic Church uh, in the world. Sunday Mass it start at 10 a.m. and you have weekly Mass it start from 7 a.m. Monday to Friday to 7:30 and 7:30 a.m. on Saturday. Confession from 5 o'clock p.m. every Saturday. You also have adoration of the um, Eucharist at 5 o'clock p.m. on Friday. You also have the Catechism and the Letters Practice, Choir Practice, and other Sevens, uh, uh, sevens Practice. Uh, you know, the, uh, the writing are no more there, not too clear because uh, some of you got erased because of the longer time the writing has spent on the wall. And so this is the Catholic Church, as you can see. And in Grand Gita, it is considered as one of the uh, beautiful churches, especially in terms of structure and uh, the way in which they clean their grass. And Catholic, on a serious note, their fence, the inner part of their fence and all of their surrounding have been very clean as you can see even if you have come here you let to visit the catholic compound and you will know exactly what i'm talking about these are beautiful trees i know that they have planted for shade whenever the sun is hot they sit around uh, on this tree to also relax themselves in making sure that yes indeed they have a beautiful rest during mass some people come out to actually have themselves uh, have a little rest when uh, the mass is ongoing or when the mass is off and so that's it right here from liberia to be precise Reggio grand Gita county with me and lloyd Farley. and uh in subsequent time we will move to the bishop julie high school where i can tell you is the junior and the senior high session of uh, the catholic and the center of the adasi uh, College is the uh, Kepama Adalsi, which is uh, one of the biggest Adalsi in the Republic of Liberia. And uh, when the Roman Catholic member came to settle in Liberia, it was in Maryland that they settled. And so the headquarter of the Catholic Diocese is now in Maryland. But for this one, we are in Zweju, and this is Moses P. Harris Street. The Catholic Church is located right here at Moses P. Harris Street. If you had the time to visit Liberia and you are a Catholic uh, member, feel relaxed. Job said, or ask anyone, where is Moses Piari Street? And when they locate you, you definitely see a, the compound of the Catholic Church here in Israel in order to go and have your mass.
well don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel called liberian tv like and share our page in order to follow what is happening and what is going on in liberia and around the world lord nyon your father is my name thanks for watching and have a jolly and pleasant day from liberia